Now, in other news, Professor says prevent interspecies genocide, reduce current human numbers. And this is a Colorado State University professor, Philip Cafaro, uh, in his Climate Ethics and Population Policy document. Uh, you can see it here on the page, Virtue Ethics and the Environment. And it's all about how to fight global warming, uh, how it won't be enough to just slow population growth. We're going to have to reduce current numbers. Now it's somehow okay to kill people. It is past time to acknowledge the immense injustice toward other species represented by climate change, he writes, and other human assaults on the biosphere. The professor goes on to say, oh, he's a professor. You've got to listen to him. And to reform our environmental ethics and behavior accordingly. Going on in other parts of the document, ending human population growth is almost certainly a necessity, but not sufficient to prevent the catastrophic global warming change. Indeed, significantly reducing current human numbers may be necessary to do so in other parts of the document saying, in fact, reducing human population may be necessary in other part of the document saying it, the question of coercion may not be avoidable forever. And we always knew the climate change thing was going there. We always knew that it was just another branch of eugenics as that entire model went underground, absorbed environmental movements to achieve its policies. Al Gore's entire thing with global warming and climate change and the inconvenient hoax that he crafted was all based on Club of Rome documents from the 70s and that larger eugenics question they've been pushing since the late 1800s. So it's no surprise to see that this is going here, but there's another deception hidden in there that you always have these professors and ethicists telling us why we have to kill people. Only yesterday it was in the news how university professors in Australia say it's okay to kill uh, newborns up to the age of three, that infanticide is okay because abortion has already been accepted. Uh, all this stuff just to make us hate ourselves and think humanity is a menace and be convinced of that. Total deception, like everything else. Turning now to another set of deceptions.